Bismillah Rahman Rahim. In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. Assalamu alaikum. Today we will cover GRE Physics 1777 Classical Mechanics Simple Harmonic Motion Pendulum. Simple pendulum exhibit periodic motion. It consists of a bob of mass M suspended by a light string of length L. The motion is very close to simple harmonic oscillator when angle theta is small. There are only two forces acting on the bob. One is tension in the string and other is gravitational force that is directed downwards. The gravitational force can be resolved into two components, mg sin theta and mg cos theta. If we observe the diagram, we see that mg cos theta is equal to tension, s is equal to l theta, and ma is equal to minus mg sin theta. The tangential component mg sin theta of the gravitational force always x toward theta is equal to zero. Opposite the displacement of the bob from the lowest position. Therefore, the tangential component is the restoring force, and we can apply Newton's second law for motion in the tangential direction. Tangential force Ft is equal to mat, where m is the mass of the bob, and at is the acceleration in the tangential direction. This is equal to minus mg sine theta. We know acceleration in tangential direction is second derivative of s with respect to t. Therefore, m multiplied by second derivative of s with respect to t is equal to minus mg sin theta, where negative sign indicates the tangential force x toward the equilibrium vertical position. S is the bob's position along the arc. Because s is equal to l theta, l is constant, it is the length of the string. Therefore, m multiplied by second derivative of s with respect to t is equal to m second derivative of l theta with respect to t. l is a constant, so we can take it out and we get m l is equal to second derivative of theta with respect to t. m l multiplied by second derivative of theta with respect to t is equal to minus mg sin theta. m cancel, therefore l second derivative of theta with respect to t is equal to minus g sine theta. We cross multiply, therefore second derivative of theta with respect to t is equal to minus g sine theta over L. We assume theta is small, that is theta is less than 10 degrees and we can make the assumption sine theta is equal to theta. Second derivative of theta with respect to t is approximately equal to minus g theta over L. This is the equation of simple harmonic motion. The solution is theta is equal to theta max cos omega t plus pi. Theta max is the maximum angular position. Omega is the angular frequency and phi is the phase. Second derivative of theta with respect to t is equal to second derivative of theta max cos omega t plus phi with respect to t. Theta max is a constant so we can take it out. Therefore, second derivative of theta with respect to t is equal to theta max, second derivative of cos omega t plus phi with respect to t. The derivative of cos omega t plus phi with respect to t is equal to minus omega sin omega t plus phi. Therefore, second derivative of theta with respect to t is equal to minus theta max omega. Derivative of sin omega t plus phi with respect to t Derivative of sin omega t plus phi with respect to t is equal to omega cos omega t plus phi. Therefore, second derivative of theta with respect to t is equal to minus theta max omega square cos omega t plus phi. Second derivative of theta with respect to t is equal to minus omega square theta max cos omega t plus phi. We know theta is equal to theta max cos omega t plus phi. Therefore, second derivative of theta with respect to t is equal to minus omega square theta. In the previous slides, we saw second derivative of theta with respect to t is minus g theta over L. If we compare last two equations, we find omega square is equal to g over L. Omega is equal to under root g over L. Omega is the angular frequency and is equal to 2 pi f, where f is the frequency. 
frequency is equal to 1 over time therefore mega is equal to 2 pi over t this means 2 pi over t is equal to under root g over l this gives us t is equal to 2 pi under root l over g t is the time period l is the length of the string g is the gravitational acceleration therefore the time period only depend on the length of the string and the acceleration due to gravity the time period is independent of the mass of the bob if we release the object from here when it returns back to this position it is one time period i will strongly recommend that you remember this equation t is equal to 2 pi under root l over g for the gre exam we have covered the theoretical background now let's come to the question that appeared in gre 1777 question 3 two simple pendulums a and b consist of identical masses suspended from string of length la and lb respectively the two pendulums oscillate in equal gravitational fields if the period of pendulum b is twice the period of pendulum a which of the following is true of the lengths of two pendulums a lb is equal to 1 4 la b lb is equal to half la c lb is equal to la d lb is equal to twice la e lb is 4 la time period ta is equal to 2 pi under root la over g time period tb is equal to 2 pi under root lb over g la is the length of pendulum a lb is the length of pendulum b g is the gravitational acceleration that is experienced by both the pendulums in the question we have provided tb is equal to 2 ta that is the time period of b is twice that of time period of a therefore 2 ta is equal to 2 pi under root lb over g if we substitute the value of ta we get 2 bracket 2 pi under root la over g bracket close is equal to 2 pi under root lb over g 2 pi cancels under root g cancel and we are left with under root lb is equal to twice under root la this means lb is equal to 4 la e is the correct answer if the length is small time period is small if the length is large time period is large time period is proportional to under root l 70 percent people got this correct it is a simple question if you know the relationship the time period is proportional to under root l or you have memorized the equation t is equal to 2 pi under root l over j may allah bless us all thank you for watching allah face